Marty's number one priority is now and has always been Marty. Marty dug his own grave when he and his new wife badmouthed me and his children all over social media. Everybody got sick of it. I do feel like she has brainwashed the children. I'm scared that Marla has ruined my relationship with my kids, and it may be forever. Marty needs to realize all six of my children don't want to spend time with their father. He needs to man up and take responsibility for his own actions and stop letting other people control him. Marla and Marty are at odds over their 10-year-old son, David. Now, in the four years since they divorced and agreed on shared parenting, there have been a hundred police reports, allegations of kidnapping, overdosing, brainwashing, and alienating. Now, David isn't the only child. His older brother, Danny, remembers only too well what it was like being in this power play and says his absolute priority is to protect his younger brother from a father he claims is both verbally and physically abusive. I don't have a relationship with my dad or Jennifer. I had cut them out of my life two and a half years ago. They're both very manipulative people. My dad and Jennifer are compulsive liars. They're constantly bad-mouthing my mom. My dad puts his new wife, Jennifer, who he's only known for three years before all of his children. My dad has alienated himself from our entire family. I feel like my dad has done so much wrong that he doesn't deserve to be a part of my life. Jennifer treats my mom with no respect. She's called my mom a slut, poor tramp. A few years ago, my dad was talking about my mom on social media. I told my dad I was gonna come over and beat the crap out of him. My dad called the police on me because he felt threatened. The next thing I knew, the police were at my front door. They just told me I had to stop threatening him. But they did say he was a coward for calling the police on his own son. My dad just tries to embarrass me and my siblings and it just makes him look bad. He's the one that looks like a child. My dad doesn't even seem sorry for what he's done. It's just horrible because that's my dad and I really wanna have a relationship with him, but I can't. Thanks for being here, and I'm sorry you're dragged into all the middle of this. You say you want a relationship with your dad, but you can't. What's the barrier? The barrier? Uh, well, he's a compulsive liar. He doesn't believe that he's done anything wrong. Um, me and all my siblings don't talk to him for a good reason, so. And what's the good reason? Every time I went over there, he would just bad mouth my mom the whole time. Does she know you were just at our house? Yes, she does. Okay. What's your point of, of interjecting? I just, he said he hasn't been to our house for a long time, and I just wanted to make sure that she knew because he told us. But what's your point? I haven't actually went through my visitations in a long time. No. Is what I'm saying. But you yeah. said you didn't want a relationship with your father, yet you're trying to reestablish one here recently. Well, what's your point of interjecting all this right now? I just kind of think that Danny may be playing both sides. Well, it seems to me like you're stirring the pot up when I'm trying to have a conversation with him about his dad, and you're interjecting here. I understand. Um, that just is, that's very instructive to me. Okay, so you do want a relationship with your father. What do you need from him in order for that to happen? Well, I need him to apologize to me and all my siblings. I need him to stop talking bad about my mother. I mean, that's my mom. She's my rock. She's and uh, do you want a relationship with your son? Yes. Have you looked your son in the eye and apologized? I apologize. I miss him very much. You told him you apologized. Did you tell him why? For calling your mother names, saying bad things about your mother. He laid on the floor and cried. He wouldn't go to school. He wouldn't play sports. This kid has had more friends and girlfriends than he knew what to do with. He's active, athletic, popular. Two years of his life, he laid in the floor and cried. I couldn't leave the house. I couldn't leave him alone. I didn't know what had happened. He wouldn't tell me. We have tried several times, Marla, to work this out between us. We need to still be a family. You're the, you're the reason we're not. 